Blood and Blood Vessels Blood is a complex mixture. Most of it, a bit over half, is plasma, which is water with nutrients and wastes dissolved in it. Suspended in this solution are white blood cells, platelets and red blood cells. The white blood cells are specialised for fighting infections and platelets are small cell fragments that help clot blood. Together, they make up only 1% of the blood. The rest is red blood cells. These are cells specialised to transport oxygen and they help move carbon dioxide too. Each red blood cell has almost 300 million haemoglobin molecules, each of which can carry four oxygen molecules. And each drop of blood has around 5 million red blood cells, so the blood can carry much more oxygen than if the oxygen simply dissolved in the plasma. The average adult has 5 litres of blood. When they're at rest, their heart pumps about the same amount, 5 litres, every minute but this increases when they exercise. Whatever the rate, our hearts have to keep going non-stop to keep blood flowing for the whole of our lives. The blood flows through a system of branching tubes called blood vessels, of which there are three types. Arteries carry blood away from the heart, while veins carry it back. In between are networks of tiny capillaries which are spread out through the body so that every cell has a capillary close by. In the capillaries, materials transfer between the blood and surrounding cells by diffusing through the thin capillary walls. Complex multicellular organisms like humans need efficient transportation systems to keep all their parts healthy. Our blood and the vessels it flows through are vital to keeping us alive.